Hey gang, welcome back to Inverted Seats Laboratory. Doing this a little bit after the fact in comparison to the way I normally do it. And I'm sorry if the audio is also not too great, kind of filming this quick on the fly here while editing uh, the current uh, screwball video, but I realized I never really filmed an intro for it. So what you're about to see is the screwball fly on a J270. I made a custom adapter for this flight. The J270 is a 14 inch motor. Uh, screwball is only designed to stand, handle a standard about 8 inch, 7, 8 inch motor. Um, so there's a special adapter I flew on this. I also added an extra body tube section for the flight to uh, improve stability and make it safe to fly. Um, you'll actually hear on the audio this was considered a heads up flight. I had no clue what was actually going to happen while I was flying it. Um, so. You know, some safety precautions were taking, and I really appreciate the club for working with me and helping me as I was experimentally flying my rocket on something that was new and unknown. Um, I'd like to try and do this again, kind of change my design a little bit, see if I can actually get it to go faster and uh, break Mach, which was my goal. I only ended up hitting about Mach 0.92, um, and the altitude was like 5,600 feet, uh, if memory serves. Um, so I didn't get up as high as I would have liked to or get the uh, velocity I would have liked to. I really still want to try and make one of these 3D printed rockets break Mach. Um, I think it'll be like incredible to see how it handles it. Uh, there's a lot of shots here uh, that was filmed by a good friend, Morgan Lyons, and uh, she did wonderful work uh, being my camera assistant uh, while we were going out to the pad, and I really appreciate all of her help in tracking down the rocket. So please enjoy the footage. I am. Yes, sir. Already filming? Yeah. Oh boy. Of course. Are you ready to watch this thing go up in flames? Yes. I'm a little terrified. I mean, I was a little terrified when I launched it on a 550 that it would come apart, but this okay, is like, on pad. This is a whole new down. level of it could go boom. <laughs> I don't. I just straight up don't know what it's gonna do. Yeah, we're going out here to the 50s, right? I'm surprised they didn't put 40s up, but yeah. with the fact that all the Argoni Cup teams have to be out on 70s with two stage, they didn't really need them. Because last year, 50s was Argonia Cup, 40s was everyone else. B roll. Oh, I like my shadow. <laughs> oh, do you? <laughs> are you are you Peter Pan now? Well, look at my hat. <laughs> what about your hat? It's adorable. It's great. Say hi to Thomas. Hi, Thomas. <laughs> I finally made it. I'm on YouTube. I'm on the YouTube. Screwball, it's on a J270. I do have one shorted igniter, but I'm not really too concerned about that. It's got two igniters in it, so the double tap should set it off. Um, I'll just have to have them short override. We are on pad 54. Screwball's gonna go on a J270, should break mock. Will be Yay. interesting. You ready, Morgan? Yeah. We're ready for a very exciting and potentially spicy flight. It will be a spicy flight. I am not running on board camera. Uh, because that's just too much to lose. I'm running a tracker that I have a spare of. Give this to you, but if it comes at you, you're going to be glad I had you get out of your chair first. Okay, are we in compliance? Yep. Okay, thank you, folks. We're going to do this in five, four, three, two, one, the go. I'm glad you got out of your chair for no good reason. <laughs> hey, I'm happy. Right, so we took off trekking across the land. Unfortunately, I left my GoPro, so we're filming on the phone right now. Woo! What's your distance, love? Uh, 1350. 1350, straight ahead of us. Yes. Um, <laughs> we've got Morgan on the radio. She's in the chase vehicle, and she's right actually over there. So we may intercept her. 
but it's always interesting tracking with the uh, egg finder because you never quite know where you're going. There is a way to do this with a map. I'm sorry. I'm wondering. Oh, my heading. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not good with headings. You just have to stop me and move me. I appreciate you. Oh, I should have brought the new brace. I'll, I'll take mine off and give it to you. If you need it, I'm actually doing pretty good right, at the moment. 1100 feet now. All right. There should be. Straight ahead at this point. Heard another thing. Sounds like it went off of the 70s. But hunting we go. That looks like a fully intact rocket. Now we got wind. Well, I mean, Apparently, as long as it's but, good. I mean, that came open, but I don't think it actually went off at the right altitude. No. It looks fine. Yeah, it does. That looks great. Oh, yeah, she's still got holes in her. I forgot about that. It looks really good. I'm impressed. She held up beautifully. Oh. I no, that's, that. like, that's one of my cutouts. Something you may or may not already know about is that Inverpsius Lab has a web store where we sell 3D printed rocket kits and components. From simple park flyer to our pasture flyer line, we have rocket kits for all ages and experience levels. You'll also find parts like camera shrouds, screw switch covers, and charge wells. Printed from durable PETG, these products can withstand temps up to 185 degrees Fahrenheit and will not melt even on the hottest days of flying. Our goal is to provide you the highest quality of parts at reasonable prices, so if you're interested in checking us out, our link is in the description below.